Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about the Emperor Snapper. Not many people have seen this fish before. Prices on them, you'll spend about $60 on them. Tank size, you need a 180. Uh, they do normally come pretty small in the fish store, so you could have a smaller tank for them, but they grow quick. I'm talking like by the end of the year, he'll have grown another six inches. So a big tank, you gotta have it. Care level, he's moderate, mainly just because of the varied diet. You gotta make sure you're getting some frozen shrimp from the grocery store and make sure he's eating those. Temper, he is very aggressive. He is the most aggressive predator I've ever dealt with. Reef compatible, definitely not. He'll pretty much eat any decoration you got in there. Temperature, keep it 72, 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, like I said, they are a carnivore. This dude eats a ton, and he will be the first one to eat in your predator tank whenever you start to feed your guys. Even... We've had them in tanks where they're just like four inches long and then with a trigger that is twice its size and that dude still will outweigh that trigger whenever he's eating. He's just really aggressive. He eats a ton. Make sure you feed him till he just doesn't want anymore. The one you see in the video, I mean, we would feed him up to like 10 shrimp a day. It was crazy how much he could eat, but we just had to keep feeding him so we could feed the other fish in the tank. Max size, you know, this one you see in the video is a foot long. He could get a lot bigger. I've seen sources say they get up to three feet long, but he is a snapper. I mean, they get huge in the wild. Compatibility, just ask. You can put them with pretty much any other kind of predators. This guy was housed with different kinds of puffers and triggers and eels, some really big damsels even, groupers. And he did actually end up attacking our puffer fish in there that was like a foot long. He just was not enjoying that puffer in the tank. So we had to take the puffer out and move him to a different tank. So watch out for regression. Watch out for bite marks, uh, fins missing, different things like that. Colors, he is that red and white striped. He's very pretty. Origin, they do come from the Indian Ocean. They pretty much just catch them like a deep sea fishing chart. That's it for this guy. He's an awesome predator to have. You just got to really make sure your other fish are tough and are not going to let him beat up on them. You want them to be beating up on each other. He's great to have and he's very, very pretty. Hope you all have a good day. I'm heading to the beach this next week, but I'll make sure to still post some videos. Hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other episodes. We are so close to a thousand subscribers.